So in this week's post, I have a guest with me. It's my brother, and his Gimli costume was a shared project between the two of us. We each worked on part of it, and today he is going to be demonstrating how he made the axe for the costume. So if my voice sounds a bit deeper than usual throughout most of this tutorial, it's because it's my brother talking through most of it, not me. So he started out by taking a piece of three foot long PVC pipe, and then spray painted it with a coppery bronze metallic paint. And so this is the basic shape of the axe blade, and I do have a template you can use to copy this at the woodlandelf.com slash pattern slash gimli. I'm going to trace this onto that thick AVA gray foam here, and uh, I'm going to sand down the one side of it, so we don't know all those designs on the one side, and then I'm going to glue it to that PVC pipe. Okay, meanwhile with Gimli's axe, we're going to cover this with the uh, top of this with 3 millimeter, three millimeter inch foam. We're going to take the axe blade uh, for the measurements here. I went with 3 quarters and 7 eighths and uh, 19 millimeters down. Alright, we just cut that out. Just gonna hot glue this shut here. Another thing is, see, I just uh, traced that onto there. I'm gonna put that piece right on top of here. So once you've got your white pieces of craft foam glued to the PVC handle, you're just going to glue the blade onto the white part at the top. Then he cut a few extra small details out of the white foam. Anyway, authentic or accurate, but I added all these on just to try and spice it up a little bit. To mention to you, uh, one thing I just thought to mention to you guys, you're going to want to cover your work with that uh, paint tape there. Uh, it'll keep your stuff that's already painted from getting more stuff you don't need on it. Okay, now I've uh, coated this with three coats of this Plasti Dip, and now all we gotta do is spray it with this uh, silver chrome, supposed to resemble metal, and we're done. And there you go, ladies and gents. You have your pretty badass looking battle axe. Or Gimli's walking axe, as it's called. But, yeah, and so you got minor details there, there. They don't really matter, but you know they kind of make it look a little cooler. And so voila! Uh, one thing I was going to mention is you might want to sand this instead of Dremel it. See how it's all rough like that? I made a mistake there, but you know, it happens. And that's how you make your Gimli walking axe. I still only count as one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>